access FFH1 device parameters via Modbus with FG200. The Softing Gateway FG200 enables the easy connection of FFH1 devices to Modbus and FFHSE controllers. Up to 64 FFH1 devices can be connected to almost any type of controller. In this video, we introduce you to the process of configuring the FG200 in order to access process values of FFH1 devices via Modbus. Herefore, the application communication configurator is required. Start the application. First, you have to import the device descriptions for the used devices. Therefore, you have to open the Type Catalog Maintenance window. Click on Import. In the Open dialog, change the selection to Foundation Field Bus. Navigate to the folder containing the device description and select the CFF file. Click on Import to integrate the device description. You can see that the corresponding device type has been imported. Information such as, for example, the manufacturer and the name of the device type is displayed. After all required device descriptions are imported, a new project has to be created. In order to do this, select FF Project with FG200 as project template and define a folder name. The project location can be changed. Click on OK to create the project. When a project is created, additionally a network access profile consistent to the project template is created automatically. This network access profile defines how the PC shall access the network you want to configure. If your PC possesses more than one Ethernet access, you must check if the correct Ethernet access has been used for the created network access profile. Click on the symbol to open the Segment Management window. In the Segment Management window, the segments of the project are shown. For each segment, the used network access profile is listed. Initially, one segment consistent to the project template is created. Click on the symbol to open the Network Access Profiles window. Select the correct Ethernet access. In addition, different bus parameters can be defined. A more detailed description of these parameters is available in the documentation. Close the dialog boxes. In the following, we will have a look at the properties of the multiple project items and will configure the FG200 and the FFH1 device. Select the segment in the Project Explorer. In the Properties window, the properties of the selected element are shown. If the Properties window is not visible, you can open it via Menu, View, and then Properties. At the end of the Properties window, a description for the currently selected property is shown. In the section Modbus Register Ranges, you have the possibility to define register ranges that shall be used for different parameters. You can set, for example, the start and end register of the section for output parameters. Select the FG200 in the Project Explorer and adapt the PD tag and the IP address in the Properties window. If required, adapt the link ID and the node address of the links. The address range that is considered within a link can be reduced by the parameters first on polled node ID and num consec on polled node ID. Devices that have addresses within this range will not be incorporated into the life list. 
In our example, only the first link of the FG200 is used. Therefore, we deactivate the other links. In the Project Explorer, select the link the device is connected to and add the device by clicking on the plus symbol of the corresponding device type in the window Device Types. Select the added FFH1 device and adapt the PD tag and the note address in the Properties window. If required, the FFH1 device can be configured as Backup Link Master. In the following, an analog input block will be configured to access its process value via Modbus. Click on Edit Configuration Parameters of the H1 device and select the corresponding block. First, we will configure the parameters XD scale, out scale, channel, and L type to provide the temperature value of the H1 device via the output parameter of the block. In order to configure a parameter, you have to select it and insert the desired value in the column Configured Value. Click on the symbol to set the value to add it to the configuration. Select the parameters Out Status and Out Value and activate the option Modbus Access to access the process value and the corresponding status via Modbus. Click on Build Current Segment to validate the configuration and generate code to download to the devices. Verify in the message log that the configuration does not contain any errors. If the message log window is not visible, you can open it via Menu, View, Message Log. Click on Download Current Segment to download the generated code to the devices. While the download is executing, an indication is shown in the status bar. Via this button, you can cancel the download process. Verify in the message log that no errors have occurred during the download. In the following, we'll have a look on the current process value of the previously configured block. Click on Show in Topology view of the FFH1 device. Click on Edit Device Parameters of the FFH1 device and select the corresponding block. Wait until the parameter values are read. You can identify this via the green check mark. Verify that the actual mode is set to Auto. The current temperature value is around 28 Celsius. When the current segment is built, the parameter values that shall be accessible via Modbus are mapped to Modbus registers. Open the Windows File Explorer and navigate to the folder containing your project. Open Subfolder Export. When a segment is built, a subfolder for the segment is created. Open the subfolder and open the file Modbus Mapping. In this HTML file, the mapping of the parameters and the Modbus register is shown. The number 2 specifies that the value of out value consists of two Modbus registers. In the following, we will configure the FG200 to be able to access via Modbus the parameters that have been configured in the Communication Configurator. In the address line, write the IP address of the device. You will be prompted to log in with your username and password. You can find the login information in the User Manual.
go to page configuration settings general settings verify that the option enable modbus is activated go to page configuration modbus communication here you can adapt modbus specific settings now go to page configuration fieldbus blocks click on reload life list to update the internal life list of the fg200 reload the page blocks until the block list is shown then the update has finished now go to page configuration modbus import export when the current segment is built a file is created that has to be loaded into the fg200 it is a CSV file that contains the Modbus mapping. You can find it in the same folder as the HTML file showing the Modbus mapping. Select this file and click on Import to load the Modbus mapping into the FG200. Please have a look on the video Reconfiguration of Modbus Registers if the Modbus mapping does not satisfy your needs and you want to adapt it. This video shows you how to proceed. In the following, we will verify that it is possible to access the process value via Modbus. For this, we're using the application Ratio Modbus Master Simulator. To establish a connection, you have to select Modbus TCP as protocol and you have to define the IP address of the FG200. Per default, the port is used for the Modbus communication. This can be changed on the Modbus settings of the FG200. Click on the symbol to establish a connection to the FG200. Click on the symbol to open a window to read out Modbus register. Have a look at the Modbus mapping which registers are used for the parameters. In our case, the register 34001 is used for the status of the process value and the registers 30001 and 30002 are used for the process value. Registers from 30001 to 40000 are defined as input registers. Registers from 40001 and 50000 are defined as holding register. Select input register. In the address field, you have to define the offset to 30001. For the process value, this is zero. So you don't have to adapt the address. Adapt the length to two because the process value uses two registers. Adapt the display options to see the value in a proper format. The value matches the value read from the device in the communication configurator. This concludes the configuration of the FG200 in order to access process values of FFH1 devices via Modbus. Further information can be found on our website, industrial.softing.com. Thank you for your attention.